Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this given quadratic equation by a completing a square method. And one thing you can notice that we have one radical involved. So we have to be a little bit careful. So let's get started. The very first thing we are going to do is to make sure that our on the left hand side only x variable must be on the left hand side that means this quantity this constant must go on the other side so that means i can write as 3x square plus 7x equals to now this negative square root of 2 becomes positive square root of 2 when you move it on the other side the next step is we want to make sure that our leading coefficient must be 1. Since this is 3, how are we going to make it 1? By just simply dividing by 3. So 3 over 3 makes 1. Since we divided by 3 over here, we have to divide across the board. Each and every term must be divided by 3. So we got simply x squared plus 7 over 3x equal to square root of 2 over 3. So far so good. Our next step is I want you to look at the focus on the coefficient of x which is 7 over 3. I want you to write down 7 over 3 somewhere here. Now I want you to multiply this one 1 over 2. This is same as like we are dividing this quantity by 2. So this time we are just multiplying by 1 over 2. Once we multiply by 1 over 2, that is going to become 7 over 3 times 2 is 6. And your final step is whatever quantity you got, you just simply square it. So first we got this number of ampere multiply times a half 1 over 2 and then whatever we got just square it so this is what we're going to add on both sides of this equation so let's move on to over here x square plus 7 over 3 x plus equals to square root of 2 divided by 3 plus now i'm going to add 7 over 6 square on this side and 7 over 6 square on this side as well. Now let's focus on the left hand side of this equation, this part. This represents a complete square and we're going to be using this formula to complete this square. So this could be written as by using this formula is simply x plus 7 over 6 square all right so this could be written as this one once again make sure that this x showed up right up here 7 over 6 showed up right up here and this positive sign is in the middle and we simply disregard the middle part equals to simply we got square root of 2 divided by 3 plus right up here here you can see this could be written as 7 square is 49 over 36 and now let's just look at the right hand side this thing i just copied down over here and i'm going to simplify that one and you know that our denominators are 3 and 36 we can make it uh, 36 as a common denominator if I multiply by 12 top and bottom of this one that is going to give us 12 times square root of 2 divided by 12 times 3 is 36 plus 49 over 36 now since we have the same denominator I can just write it once 36 I can write 12 times square root of 2 plus 49 and that is the simplified form. So I'm going to go ahead 
and write down over here x plus 7 over 6 square equals to 12 times square root of 2 plus 49 divided by 36. So far so good. Let's move on to our next step. Now you can see that we have this square on the, this left hand side. We want to undo this square. Let's take the square root on both sides. I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So this square and square root they undo each other. So we simply got x plus 7 over 6 equals to positive or negative. Let's do this one over here. I'm going to split this thing up. I'm going to say square root of 12 square root of 2 plus 49 divided by square root of 36. So far so good. So the next step is this is going to be x plus 7 over 6 turns out to be equal to positive or negative. Here you can see in this one over here I can switch them around. I can switch their position. I can write as 49 first. Doesn't make any difference. 49 plus 12 times square root of 2 and at the denominator you can see this square root of 36 is simply 6. So far so good. Now the final step is we want to isolate x so I want you to move this fraction on the right hand side. If we simply got x equal to this become negative 7 over 6 plus or minus square root of 49 plus 12 times square root of 2 divided by 6. Since we have the same denominator, I can just simply write it once. It's just 6 and then negative 7 plus or minus square root of 49 plus 12 times square root of 2. Now I'm going to split the sign of both these negative and positive sign. Okay, you can see that one over here. I can do this one over here. I can write as x equals to then simply x is going to be equal to first solution is going to be a negative 7 plus square root of 49 plus 12 square root of 2 divided by 6. That is one of the solution and the second solution is going to be x equal to negative 7 minus square root of 49 plus 12 square root of 2 divided by 6. And here I put my solution in a solution set. Over here you can see that one and that is our answer. And finally here is your assignment. Can you do this problem on your own? You can take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.